coastal batteries in Fiji, when they began uh, building these coastal uh, batteries, gun sites and around uh, the island, it was to protect the island against invading uh, German uh, forces. They may have targeted uh, allied uh, ships that are out there, merchant ships. Um, but that changed to protecting the island against uh, Japan when Japan uh, later joined the, the, the war. Eh? That's when a lot more batteries were built, a lot more structures were built and more troops came in from New Zealand mainly and uh, the US. They started building Mommy in 1940, late 1940 when the New Zealand troops arrived into our country. In 1941, they brought these big two six-inch naval guns. We found that Kini is one of the most important and most important people in the world. We found that Kini is one of the most important people in the world. We found that Kini is one of the most important people in the world. We found that Kini is one of the most important people in Dakai <laughs> When uh, the two guns there on the gun side, on the top, uh, when they are <coughs> they are training, they came to tell all people around our around three miles area to put everything down, don't go to the sea, be careful everybody. When the first time they fired the gun, there was a big occasion up here which was uh, hosted and performed by the locals, the, both communities from Momin and Bila and the, and the Indian communities within. They all looked together and put a party in like a, like a celebration. Uh, uh, even though some of them were afraid that this was coming, but on the other hand, they felt safe that this has come to them, something that will protect them if, if the Japanese invasion came to Fiji. You know, now we don't think of it as uh, you know, one of those uh, wars. We think of it as a war that never came. It was a very serious uh, invasion force. It was more than what they had planned for New Caledonia and for Samoa. They knew that Fiji had a large uh, army waiting for them, but uh, I think they had thought of uh, the Fiji defense uh, situation as a much larger uh, uh, force, but uh, it wasn't. What they had planned for Fiji would have easily wiped out the whole uh, defense. So we were just, I would say, about a month away from getting invaded by the Japanese. Yeah, we're just thankful that they didn't arrive. The local community was involved in building them, mixing cement, carrying these guns across to where they are sitting right now. And uh, not only them, the Fiji Defense Force, Fiji Military Force was part of the uh, building as well. My mother's father, he, uh, he was the one who was also involved with the soldiers when they were here, like constructing this place, you know. Mm. My dad was one of those people who, who were involved in the, in the construction of the, of the Maumee battery. The soldiers did a lot of help, especially with, with the community, the needs, and you know, when there's something to be constructed, because they had these vehicles with them that would help them. Eh? They helped each other. Eh? The ladies come to help out in washing clothes. Uh, the soldiers come to the village. 
uh, of in the afternoon for like if there's an occasion in the village they would tell them oh this is an occasion in the afternoon you should come you know they would come drink grog I we give uh, you the, um, uh, the vegetables, Bissau, Bissau and give the vegetables and then they give the cigarettes and that sometimes the chocolates too they give. Yeah, they, very, they, they say that time was very, they were happy that, that, that somebody is there for saving our life. That time there were a lot of army officers, no? soldiers and uh, my father used to say that the road was going in between our houses here on the top there. So when they say when the trucks come, you know, the drovers, they stop, they throw lollies to them. And sometimes they just hang on the uh, land rovers. They go up to somewhere and they get off. And uh, once they're telling us, sometimes they tell our parents not to light anything at night. No lights, should be full dark. And they come around and tell them. Sometimes maybe they hear some message, some danger is coming. So there should not be any lights. On the reef, they had all the barbed wires along the reef, under the water. Nobody could see it, right? And up till now, when we go fishing, we find some pieces there. It's stuck in the rocks. There was one signal tower on the hill. My father used to say, people used to stay there, the military officers. And that was the main signal given to the headquarters down. If they see anything in the sea, and there were some satellites in the mangroves. There too, they had people there. Sometimes the lights were there to distract the boats, not to come in the right direction. They get stuck there. They put the fence near the shore because they said when the warship entered the passage, never mind, you damage it, might big hole, even go water inside. But that, that thing can go still one or one, two miles. Come to the shore, the whole the soldiers jumped and run, wanted to come to the shore quickly. The time come to the fence, they put the fence, they wait there and the, that the time they take time to get through. Eh? So that the time the shooting start there, see? They stop them to come to the mainland. Oh, the wall, the soldiers here. I don't know how many soldiers there's in thousands of soldiers here, you know. When you boy run Oh, I, the time uh, the war is over, all the bullets and everything, you know, they throw, uh, you, they don't want to, you know, some bullets like that I have seen lying there and yeah, I asked my parents, uh, friends and, uh, you know, the old people, what, what will about, what this all? After the, you know, after when the old, uh, I mean, war is end, 1945. So they, th they throw away from, they hide it, nobody to find it. And someone was very dangerous, you know. The life, uh, I mean, that uh, is still alive, you know. You, the fire, you can put in the fire that can blow. Mm -hmm. ना एक वाई को समुद्र तिति में माइंड रहा और हम लोग आंखें से देखा जोर से फुटा और हम लोग देखा करिया धुआं निकले आवाज बड़ा जोर से भरा करिया धुआं काफी निकटता रहा तो छोटा छोटा रहा तो उतना ख्याल है इतना यह तो कहीं हम तो बहुत छोटा बहुत मैं खाली स्टोरी सुना बुढ़ा लोग से ना कि इलोग तो बोले रंगारी पकड़े गई बिता तो देखें कि माइन है तो आए कोरो में बता ही तो कोरो वाले ये लोग जाए के रिपोर्ट करें तब उन लोग आए के उसके ब्लो करें। वन स्टोरी आई गोन टेल यू दैट इज अ वेरी वी हैव ग्रोन अप बट दैट टाइम आई वाज फिफ्टीन इयर्स सिक्सटीन इयर्स आई फोन डी वन 
hand bomb, hand bomb. By the time, the fellow was plowing the land and put it there, and I took it up, up there. We, our friend, we were four or five people, learned. well, uh, they put the fire, at, uh, uh, they, we uh, roast the cassava, and after that, we just put it in the fire and run away. Uh, we go on as far as the uh, church, the things blown. And by that time, uh, people from Esawa came to cut the cane there at that time. And, uh, and at the same time, the plane, or the center at the time, <laughs> plane came, airplane. Then they say, plane, we, they put the bomb there. So there are some people thought that I have uh, yeah, uh, put the bomb up. You go to Flagstaff, you go to Nasonini, even in Bilo you can see these guns. And even people that come from abroad, they say, oh, you are so fortunate you still have these guns. For school uh, groups and uh, school kids coming in, like where you mentioned mommy gun battery, the, the only imagination that comes into their mind is to see the guns. So once they see these guns, you know, like, you can feel how they feel when they see these uh, two guns up here at the side, eh? Because they haven't seen any kind of these uh, big guns like this, eh? I think that the gun, that's the baby gun nowadays, eh? <laughs> We used to have this Fijian Bure school and we would take a walk from the village right up. And that time the teachers were very strict and they used sticks to punish you if you come late to school or if you are absent. So usually sometimes, you know, that time there was no transport. We used to walk from the village something like it's something like three half a mile from the village to Momi. So on our way, when we know that we are already late, this is the place that we come in. When I, I was doing school about 15, 16 years, my friends, we just go smoke there. <laughs> uh, cigarettes and eh? sometimes uh, we take uh, the egg and they take the pot and the matches, we just boil the egg there and or maybe we spend the whole day there. There are two caves in the hills and uh, you know this area is always hurricane struck. As soon as we have out the hurricane, some of us we go to that main camp and some we go into that cave. You see a big crowd there, maybe close to 100 I think. In that main one, in the other one, maybe 100. But the caves, 100 people in the caves. Yeah, big crowd. People want to save their life. Eh? Here we go, na kairo ko. O kukor na liuma solo mo niyongi. Arama may noke. Ihi la haranga manan mo dalam matulwe ni wera. Mana koy zuhu di mangi na tuaring ko limu di mangi. Palo ko ali ako ko ali. Correct. Uturea. Oh. Ukurana. Tumbani wayo kwa na kwa nyoko. Pendola mi ni wakemba tuki. Uho na kahira na ngi kwa nyoma tuki langa chatu. Oh, no na langa kena hirungi ndo maziru loma. Mai kare keno hilambo tona ukale la kwa ni hilambo tumi shikin. Kero ni gulanga charanga na tiki ni ngawo. Dua ziwa vali mani ambati. Tu shiti megi ringi rina lali. Menda mai lulu luka veri kita ki sangai soro kuti apa ni. Oh hita la sandro au rongo dan ibu kaila ni buka loi Tokyo. Eba kada lai ko ena vivo sai so ni ndo kaji ma ke maina rekio. Sangai bo lingo ko ti apa ni. Chama ni. Tombo mai mera tawo tanga taki. Oh hita la ke muslini kina no na matangadi mera vesu mera di dia na dali. Nai bo lulu bu sangai oti ko to ani. Lebu lebu nawe kanda ya ramati. Na nonda tiku lenga lenga mwili mwina visa watanembaki. Ukoya kabuna na yuvalu sayali. 
Aí só olha, 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 e coi nilan de não coi leiro de um barco. Não dá tudo matando tudo, 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 tudo na casa. São bandi não dá tudo na langilan. O voto eu gram.